You ain't even gonna give me a tip? You want a tip? I'll give you a tip. Don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Always the gentleman, <laughs> huh, Joey? Just get the fuck out of here hey, already. Hey, Gina, wanna come join me? Hey, I hope there's room for three in there. Barbaro's Bordello. You got the money, we got the honeys. Vito, it's Henry. We got a problem. What kind of problem? Eddie paid me a visit. Carlo knows about the deal. And he sent Eddie to pick up his cut. Uh, how much? Sixty grand. Fuck, how much? What are we gonna do? I don't know. We don't even have enough left for Bruno. Meet me in the park. I don't want to talk about this over the phone. Okay. I'll be right there. Joe, we gotta go. For? Now, Joe. I'll tell you on the way. All right. Girls, lock up when you leave. Me and Vito got business. So what the hell's going on? That was Henry on the phone. Carlo found out about the deal. Ah, shit. Does he know he was involved? I don't think so. Let's talk about it in the car. Where are we headed? Lincoln Park. We meeting Henry there? Yeah. All right, so what did Henry say on the phone? He okay? He sounded okay. But Carlo took his car to the take. Fuck. Just like Henry said he'd do if he found out. Yeah, but now the problem is, we don't even got enough to pay Bruno back. Ah, shit. What the hell are we gonna do? I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get to the park. Yeah. Henry will know what to do. Henry's different these days. The guy's got a real... What the, what the fuck? fuck's going on? Shit, that's Henry! What the fuck are they hitting him with? Get off me! Come on, Mr. Big Man! <laughs> you ain't so tough, don't call her. Fuck! Who the fuck does something like this, Vito? Them people are fucking sick. Shit! Who the fuck does something like this? Who do you think? God damn it, Henry! Damn it, Henry! Look at this, Vito. You fucking believe this? Nah, the money's gone too. Joe, come on. We gotta get out of here. Cops will take care of Henry. Hey, that's the old guy who sold us the dope, Wong. All the ways to kill a guy. Goddamn bullet would have been enough. These bastards are sick in the head, Vito. They're gonna fucking die. All of them. I mean, why do it like that? And in the middle of the park. Like I said, they're sick. I'm gonna turn them into chop fucking suey. Hey, not for nothing. We don't even know how many of them there are. Yeah, and it don't matter. Hey, Henry's dead. What, do you want us to get killed too? Gotta do this smart, Joe. It don't matter how we do it. As long as they're fucking dead when we're done. All right, listen. There's probably more than two of them. So what? The more, the fucking merrier. So there's only two of us. Unless maybe you want to call Carlo and tell him all about the mess we're in, asking to send some guys over here. All right, fine. I get it. All right, so promise me you're not gonna go in guns blazing as usual. We 
gotta do this the smart way, all right? Fun. Let's get in there and take him out before he disappears with the money. Hold on, I'm gonna need some serious firepower first. We can either go to Harry, so we can kill these fucks right now. Just say the word. All gentlemen, this place for member only. Is your fucking membership. God damn it, Joe. Can't you listen to me for once? No, I can't. You've seen what they done to Henry. God damn it, Joe. You see? Why didn't you just bang the damn gun while you were? Right down. I'm going to waste these little fucks. Get the air out of the box. <laughs> you ain't so tough. With the wrong guys, dick yet. Watch out! The fuck they shoot from up top! Tell your boss I'm coming for him. one of them. Say good night, Falcon. Come on, Vito, move for Christ's sake. Kill them all! 
Every last one of them. Where the hell is that prick? He's gotta be in here somewhere. Let's keep going. Come on, how do you like that, huh? Come on, fuck, you keep from coming. How many more they got back there? Don't matter, I got plenty of bullets left. Alright, there's three more of them. Give up now. Quiet, Vito. Since when are you concerned about making noise? There's too many of them. Just take them out nice and quiet. Nice. All right, let's just sneak through here. you got oh you're in trouble come on think of something hurry up here the last of them. See? Ain't so bad so far, right? Yeah, but what if somebody recognizes us and Carlo hears about it? That's why we ain't leaving no witnesses. There's probably more of them down here. Get ready. You slanty-eyed fuck! What is it that you want? <laughs> what the fuck do you think we want? We want to know why you had our friend killed. We also want the money you took from him. I had no choice. Your friend 
was a government informer. What the what? fuck are you talking about? A contact inside the Federal Bureau of Narcotics told me that Henry Tomasino passed them information about our deal. That's a fucking lie! Whoa, whoa, whoa. You saying Henry was a rat? Yes. But not anymore. That's bullshit. Makes no sense. And I suppose you had nothing to do with the little stick-up after we closed the deal with you either, right? You think we would take such a stupid risk and destroy our own factory? That was just another reason to get rid of you. We had problems with you from the very beginning. Oh, yeah? Well, all your problems are just about over, pal. So where's our money? It's not here anymore. What?! Where the hell is it, then? I cannot tell you. If you don't tell us, I'm gonna splatter your yellow brains all over this fucking room! If I told you, I'd be dead anyway. Find your choice! Are you crazy? What you wanna do, let him go or something? We could've gotten more out of him. Fuck that, he wouldn't have said nothing. These bastards are tough. <sighs> Let's just get the hell out of here before the cops come. This place won't be opening up for a while. If we had the time, I'd burn it to the damn ground. Where you going, Vito? That's the way we came in. Come on, Vito, let's get out of here. There's too many of them. Find us a car. This hey. guy's a maniac. We gotta take him down. Emperor. <laughs> You're ah, fucking dead. <laughs> Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Roger that. Oh, what the fuck are you? All right. Jeez. We lost. Take Relax, me to my place, Vito. I need a fucking drink. That was, uh, was fucked up, huh? Yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Just get me back to my place, would you? All right. This deal was a total fucking disaster. Tell me about it. Henry's dead. We don't have Bruno's money. We killed half the Toms. And if they think Carlos sent us, it'll mean war. We're fucked. Yeah. And if Carlo finds out we got him into this mess... What if Henry really was a rat? No fucking way. Don't even say that. Look, first let's get the money for Bruno. That'll fix at least one problem. But I'm done for today. I need a drink. I'll call you in the morning. We'll figure this shit out. All right. Okay, I'll see you later. And Vito, be careful. Sound like I'm ready, you just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit? Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. 
Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be in your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, eh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Head over to Greenfield. Tell me what this is all about. We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. Said it's gotta be clean, and it's gotta be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while, and he just found him. They're afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Yeah, here's a picture of him. What'd this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. Guy's got it coming, though, man. But wait a minute. If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? He's been here for years. We're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. I you say so. Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other work. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. He was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg food young. You get it? Yeah, what do you think I am? Some kind of retard? Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. Remember what you gotta say? Yeah. All right. Here we go, then. Mr. Angelo. Uh, yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Like I said, it's about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Those guys over there. Shit! Go, go! go. We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. This is Agent Cox. Ten for support in Greenfield. Now, goddammit! Back me up, Vito. Those were feds. That asshole really was under protection. I'm back. Little details like that. Maybe he didn't know. Don't matter now. We gotta lose him. Close. Get me to Kingston, will you? I got a car waiting there. What about the money? Hey, I almost forgot. Eddie paid me in advance, so here's your share. All right. Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay. I'll see you later. 